Prediction Decision Podcast. Hate me or love me. There's no in between. Yes, I'm back. It is what it is. So we already know that Slow Mojo Biden's bullshit already set off a bunch of shit, right? He just announced food shortage is real because of um, the Ukraine war. Which makes no sense. I don't give a fuck what you're saying. Y'all niggas is planning this whole shit. It's all engineered and orchestrated. Nigga, we was going into a recession regardless. We was going into a food shortage regardless. We was going into inflation regardless. You niggas just trying to justify the bullshit. To justify the ends to means for the Democrats to get more rich as they usually do. So, with that being said, let me pause it for a second so I can... You can hear the words right out this scumbag's fucking mouth. I'm trying to keep y'all on red pill. Wake the fuck up, B. We was better off with the lesser of two evils, which is MAGA, Donald Trump. Not relying on outsourced energy. See, food, energy, oil is essential to certain countries. China, you don't see their social media popping no more. Russia, Ukraine, none of these social media is popping no more. These are old clips that they're showing on CNN. There's nothing real going on. People are reserving their foods and their resources for themselves. America, Biden sold us out. Kamala sold us out. So that's why we're going into this famine age and being more inflated. Middle class is done. You're going to have to work two jobs by the end of this year. So you see Amazon was slowing up with the packages. That's just the beginning, bro. Niggas will be eating tuna fish out of a can. Mackerel. It is what it is, B. I've been locked up so I, I can sustain what I need to do to chef something up with some real quick ramen and some beef jerky and some cheeses. Nigga, crunch it up, nigga. I'll be fine. But you other niggas that need to go to Roof Chris every two weeks, you're dead in the water, B. It is what it is. Check this clip out. We did. So talk about food shortages. And, uh, and it's going to be real. The, the price of these sanctions is not just imposed upon Russia. It's imposed upon an awful lot of countries as well, including European countries and our country as well. And uh, because both uh, Russia and Ukraine have been the breadbasket of Europe in terms of wheat, for example, just give one example. But we had a long discussion uh, in the G7 with uh, um, the uh, with both uh, the United States, which has a, has a significant the third largest producer of wheat in the world, as well as Canada, which is also a major, major producer. And we both talked about how we could increase and disseminate more rapidly food, food shortages. And in addition to that, we talked about uh, urging all the European countries and everyone else to end trade restrictions on, on sending, uh, limitations on sending food abroad. And so we are in the process of working out with our European friends what it would be, what it would take to help alleviate the concerns relative to uh, food shortages. See, Slow Mo Joe <clears throat> is not telling y'all the real. Well, the wheat is fucked up. The real is that China has brought up over 200,000 acres in the past four years in the U.S. Bill Gates has brought the same agricultural um, acreage as well. Since he put these sanctions on, now you can't buy anything from Russia. And Russia provides fertilizer. Ukraine provides fertilizer. These sanctions are a bunch of bullshit. Excuse me. So... With that being said, they're trying to starve everyone out. And it, this ain't Sudan or Somalia or Syria. This is America. What do you mean we're going to have food shortages? What do you mean shit's not going to come off the freight so it can feed us? N America has never missed a meal. We are the highest obese country in the world. I got a couple pounds on me too. So... We don't know about obesity. I mean, um, famine or, or starvation. You get what I'm saying? So I'm confused. Biden and his administration is fucking done. 
it is what it is. We ain't even talking about the Hunter Biden bullshit with his laptop. That's the next situation. But I'm going to hit you with the next video with the Kataji Brown. I want to know how y'all feel about the LGBTQAI plus and plus. And remember following when I say LGBTQAI plus, plus standing for pedophilia. Yes. Kataji Brown, the new Supreme Court nominee, was a person that overlooked, overseed a case about child pornography, gave the guy three months because she said it was more easy and accessible. So that means it's okay for child pornography. See, this is what I'm saying about, about pedophilia and pedophiles. It is what it is. Or rapists and shit like that, right? Them niggas should be walking around with Judas stars like they did the fucking Jews back in the Holocaust. Put a fucking star on your shirt so we can know who you are. Why the fuck do we have to get vaccination cards and fucking show our vaccine cards to get into a spot, but you you let a pedophile walk freely around us? Oh, because he's on a website. We can see where he live at. No, he should wear a fucking Judas star on his fucking goddamn shirt. To let us know. Because they condone pedophilia. They put pedophilia. They ease it in with the LGBTQ AI plus community. And yeah, I know this video will probably get flagged or whatever. But I don't give a fuck. But that's what it is. The Democrats don't care. They enjoy pedophilia. That's what it is. But the next video of Kataji Brown, I want to see your highlights because the bitch is a fucking female, but for some reason she can't define what it means to be a woman. Crazy. Prediction Sitcha Podcast. Love me or hate me. It's no in between. You already know. <laughs> I just had to put that in there.